Like a lot of people, I've been playing around with chat GPT and having a lot of fun with it. And one thing I've realized is it can write code. And I was kind of curious about the type of CSS that it would write. And I've decided to see if we can get it to write some decent CSS for us and then dive in and sort of break down maybe what it's doing right, what it's getting wrong. Uh, we'll, we'll give it a few chances because one thing I've noticed is that when it does do things, it takes very different approaches if you give it a chance to sort of try a second time or a third time. So we'll sort of dive into the type of CSS that chat GPT is actually writing and see how it does. So let's start off by coming here and say, can you write the HTML for a hero section of a website for me. And let's see first what HTML it outputs here. Alrighty there, so there's the HTML. Let's copy this code. And what I've already done is I've actually we've fired up VS Code already. I'm ready to go. Um, and I was gonna do something where I competed against it. So we have AI versus Kevin, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, let's go and this should be on my local host and then saving that we can see what we got here which is this um, not a bad start obviously the hero image itself is broken but hey look it actually put alt text which isn't great but uh, we have something it's there I guess I see some good things I see some problems but uh, let's come back to the chat here for a second and see if it can write the H or the CSS for us so can you can you write the CSS for that HTML for me please if they're going to be our masterminds we might as well be uh, polite to them <laughs> in the time being so we'll give this a second and i'll see you once it's finished typing out the css all right so it looks like it is finished and it wrote quite a bit i see i saw a bit of a red flag as it was typing out but let's go and paste that in here and let's go hit save and see what happens i see a problem <laughs> with the image right away um and so that that okay so I'm not worried about losing my job just yet, um, but let's let's do one thing here. At first, let's look at the HTML that it wrote, um, and I think what we'll do is let's just see if we can. We'll do an on splash it. Or we should probably do HTTPS. <laughs> let's give it an image to actually work with. We'll say like 400 over 200, um, just a placeholder image. There we go. We got an image in there now. Perfect. <laughs> and uh, I think that image is actually kind of appropriate based on what, we're, what we got here. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, uh, what it's generated for us. So uh, a few things, obviously I asked it to write the CSS for HTML. So I guess it took it very literally um, because it didn't do any body styling or anything. So we still have our margin and stuff like that. I'm not gonna criticize it on that. Uh, one of the problems is it actually did this, which I was kind of impressed by the hero text container to sort of, we have an image. So like we have two columns. I'm kind of impressed that it figured that out and was able to do that. The only problem is it didn't really seem aware that we had two columns then because it center aligned this over here, which looks really ugly and it didn't put a gap or anything. <laughs> um, right, so not the best approach there. If we didn't have the image, these lines would sort of make sense because we could center the con text container within the space. Um, but because we have the image, it's kind of weird to bother doing this. Maybe the, the align item center because we have a height on there. Height on there is a little bit problematic. Let's see if we go into uh, our dev tools and turn on responsive mode. Oh, it's not, okay, so we're not hitting an overflow um, because we don't have a ton of text. But a fixed height like that's never a good thing. So this, you know, that would be better as like a min height. And just we'll do a min height. Uh, we'll switch this for a second. Cause say I did 300, you can see like this will actually grow and shrink with my my site. Whereas if we just put a height of 300 on there and it's overflowing, it just overflows, <laughs> uh, right? So a min height would have been a little bit better, and probably some padding on there would have been a bit of an improvement too. Um, so yeah, we, that we can throw a gap on there to add the space in between since, we, you know, let's do that gap of one rem um, to add the spacing. At least it chose accessible colors. The contrast is nice and high. The font sizes look decent. Um, hero image max width. So it made the image responsive. We don't, you know, this probably would have been great, but I mean, actually pretty good um, that we have that. Uh, it's not actually shrinking and it is causing overflow really early. Um, I guess because it's using flex to make the columns. So still some issues. <laughs> um, one of those is then this, which is completely useless, I think. 
Um, it's just making collapsing margins come into play that we didn't have. So this probably could have gone out the window because it's stealing code from other places and seeing what other things do. It probably has a lot of that where you have something and you want to center stuff inside. So that does accomplish this. It did switch the flex direction, which is cool. So the text actually goes in the right order, but honestly, this is, we didn't need that. Font sizes are in M's. Very nice because sometimes it does not do that. Um, it usually likes font sizes in pixels. So I'm impressed that it used M's, even though I really would have preferred if that used rems instead of M's uh, for font size. And I'm actually curious where it would have picked up using font sizes as M's because again, usually it's always pixels. I think this is the first time I've seen it uh, actually use M for font size. You can use M's for font size. It's just, there's a chance for things to all of a sudden get a little out of control. Um, if there's some weird nesting thing that comes in and you start whatever, it doesn't really matter too much, but I would suggest REMS for your font sizes. The margins being in M's isn't a big deal, even though I think this one is 100% pointless because that's the default value anyway. Uh, this one is reducing it just a, a little bit. Uh, the button inline block, that's fine. Padding's fine. I actually like that it's M's on there. And the border radius is in M's too. That's This is a pretty well done. <laughs> um, we even have the cursor pointer, even though it was a link, it probably doesn't know that. So it, it doesn't have that reference or why it would do any of this. The color switch, obviously it's not as aware of the colors. Sorry, I want to turn off. It's not as aware of the colors. So it doesn't really know that that's actually matching the background or maybe it does know that. It just doesn't realize that's a bad idea. Uh, so if this was like a 222, it would probably be a little bit better, even though, oh, whoops, I'm switching the wrong one. <laughs> I wanted to be switching this, uh, let's say 111. Uh, why did I break everything? There we go. Um, you know, so at least we, we can see things there. This is fine. It actually did a hover. It would have been nice if this also, you know, we could even throw this in an is, is uh, hover and focus. But you know, at the end, for something like this, considering, so, you know, now we actually have a focus state on there. Um, it's not perfect by any means. It's actually really far off and it makes me not too worried. Now, let's see if we can do a try again before I time out and we'll give it a second chance to see if it can redeem itself a little bit. Um, so I'll see you in a second once the CSS is written for round two and see what happens this time. All right, so it is done. Uh, you'll notice it says three and three. I ran into a network error on the second one, uh, but it looks like we finished this time. And so I think it listened to me a little bit. So let's actually just take all of this code and comment it out. It's not gonna let me do that. Uh, that's fine, we'll just delete it. We don't need that. Paste in the new code and let's go look. Oh my goodness, that's not good. <laughs> uh, not sure what happened, but it, it broke things. Uh, so hero is display flex once again, which is okay. Here's the problem. Um, it tried to do one of those images that would sort of be interesting. Um, actually, let's take width off here and see if I take the width off or it's, let's, okay, it likes these colors. Look, we have the same site again. <laughs> oh, we have a transition now on there though. I really wish it would change the font. Can we get it to change the font? Can you change the font on this site to something nicer? All right, there we go. It is it has given us something to change the font at least. Um, so let's plug that in at the top and hit save. And it looks a little bit nicer. We have something different. I'm a little disappointed the colors were the same as last time. Um, I was hoping for something better there. I am kind of intrigued by this one though. Um, I love that it did that. <laughs> I think what the idea here um, would be, Okay, we have the flex, the center, the height 500. Like this section I think is identical to what we had before. The problem is coming up here and I'm just trying to think because it's a flex item, you would think it would, so let's put in, um, I'm gonna do like a width of 50%, just, you know, let's get something so we at least have the two sides. It's like semi-responsive and stuff. Um, it gives us one of those types of looks. So we'll stick with that. At least it's semi-working <laughs> a little bit. Um, it's not responsive. While I'm looking at this, can you make this responsive? I wonder if that will work. We'll come back here in a second. Um, let's see what else it did, because it looked very similar, but if I'm looking at some of the things here, once again, we could take all of this off and I think you'd have the exact same thing. Yep, nothing even changed this time, uh, and that, obviously. Uh, so that's identical. The width 50% here isn't, well, I guess by ha I guess by having that, we have that. The padding, it added some padding this time. Interesting. 
font size. It listened to me and it went with rems. It's also gone with shorthands for padding and margin and everything, which it wasn't doing before. So I find that kind of interesting. The button looks very similar, except now it dropped it. It, it fixed the font size problems and put them to rems, but it's put the padding on this back to pixels. Um, but I'm kind of cool that it added this. Uh, which is nice. And I realized before, now that I see this, we have the cursor pointer that it added last time, but it didn't do a border of none. And that means like if you're doing cursor pointer, it means you're putting it on an actual button element as well. So you probably would have wanted that in the first place. Um, let's see, could it make this responsive? Oh, oh. Oh, it did completely new CSS. Okay, let's just... I like how the font sizes being in RAM are... Yeah, this is responsive now. The Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. There's a lot to unpack here. So it, it just made a media query that, does, that has problems. Um, <laughs> let's just grab this and, and it's a max width media query too, which confuses me even more. But let's let's throw oh we don't need we don't need that. Okay, hit save on there. Um <laughs> How is that even gonna work? I don't know what the plan of it was. Um, we're just changing the height from what it was to a max of 300, which as we saw before, can actually cause overflow. Um, so probably not what you wanna do. The, the the face palm before was this. This is like one of those classic, like it's not doing anything things. People love declaring with 100%. There's no reason to declare with 100%. Um, I know I, I manually, or did it have the 50% here? It did. So I guess maybe there's a chance you sort of need it, but it's within the media query. I don't know. Like this is not, that nothing here works basic or is worth anything. Like the font sizes, it's like, oh, we're going to put font sizes in a media query. That makes things responsive, right? And I mean, it is in a sense, they're getting smaller to bigger. So, okay, maybe that's fine, except it's in the max width. So we're doing desktop first which whatever you know i would have liked if it had actually made it like stack and, and actually made something a little better here um so i mean whatever it, it writes css that kind of works but it, it can't figure out context or do anything and i'm really maybe there's some places uh you know we see other code that it can write can actually be pretty good I'm not too worried about it on the CSS side yet. I don't think it can make logic of what the layout it's creating is. It's just taking code and sort of throwing it out there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. If you've played around with it, if you had better responses than I have, leave a comment down below and let me know about it. Uh, but yeah, right now um, it's basically making ugly walruses that we don't have to worry about. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and instead of watching me look at really bad AI code, if you'd rather look at some amazing creations that I don't even know how people could actually make that just blow the mind away, uh, there's a video right here where I take a look at some amazing things. And with that, I'd really like to thank my enablers of awesome, Jan, Johnny, Michael, Mr. Dave, Patrick, Simon, and Tim, as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.